Okay, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Nintendo has finally given us another new trailer with some actual footage. Would I have preferred a direct? Yeah, but this is what we got, so let's take a closer look. The first bit of gameplay we see is actually our first look at the game's title screen. What I find interesting here is we see either Timmy or Tommy wandering around, unlike previous entries to the series where you see one of your villagers. This could be because they don't have many villagers on their island yet, though, I suppose. We also see that you can press the minus button for save data settings, which is interesting. So far, all we've heard is that you can have only one island per switch and not per copy of the game like previously. I guess this might just be how you change who you're playing as on the island, but usually that's handled once you're actually in the loading screen with like Isabel or Rover or one of your villagers in the past games. The next scene gives us a little look at the character's inventory once again, and I have to say, I think it's going to take me a while to get used to. In the background, you can also see a little bird on the notice board, so I assume like in New Leaf and City Folk, there's probably an unread message there. This next part goes by very quick, so don't blink. We get to see the player's town map for a small period of time, and it looks very different than previous maps we've seen. The river has two branching paths, which is very unique, and there seems to be a lack of any ponds showing on the map at least. There's also a small brown line on the bottom right hand corner, which I think might be a second boat specific dock that isn't actually used by Dodo Airlines, but that's just speculation on my part. Just a little side note, the date in this scene is March 3rd, which means this lady somehow got her copy early. It's also a Tuesday, so I know it's this year and not next year, and for the record, March 3rd is also my birthday. This next scene is actually pretty much what we've already seen, with the player catching a butterfly and just the gorgeous graphics. I still can't get over how nice the trees and especially the water look. Now this... This is what I've been waiting for, seeing a slightly more developed town. They have a whole bunch of fences making a little pathway, and what I find interesting is some of the fencing actually goes around the front, left, and right sides of those trees. I don't think normally you could place objects that close to a tree, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can also see some pear trees around the player's house. The next scene gives us a little bit of a look into playing multiplayer with someone else. The host player is able to light their bonfire, which is actually pretty neat. The date shown in the scene also is actually the release date for the game, which is a really nice touch. Finally, they show various gameplay moments in the Switch and Switch Lite respectively. I believe only the footage in the yellow Switch Lite is actually new, and it just looks like a player relaxing and soaking up some sun. The thing I did notice here though is the beach ball nearby. I'm wondering if that's just an item or if maybe you can actually play with it similar to how you could in Population Growing. Overall, it was a very short trailer, and it didn't really show us anything groundbreaking, but it's still nice to see an update and also kind of see what our towns are going to look like on March 20th in terms of, you know, the grass and the seasonal colors and stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed this, please feel free to like and subscribe. I also stream every single day on Twitch, and I will be playing New Horizons Day 1 there and uploading to this channel after. Links are down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching.